exactly how we drilled it. Hotel Sierra. So this time I have a budget friendly projector from a company called Arison. Now when I mean budget, I'm talking about $130. So let's find out what you can get for that price. First, you get up to a 130 inch display from this projector. But honestly, I feel like 80 inches is the ideal size to keep a good picture quality. And I was able to get that from around eight feet away from the wall. The projector supports 1080p resolution, but its native resolution is 1280 by 720p. And if you come from a 4K TV, you will notice the resolution drop. The bulb is LED, so it has 30,000 hours of lifetime, which means it will last you a pretty long time. It is rated at 500 ANSI brightness, but honestly, it's not bright enough for daytime usage. I highly suggest to use it at night. The projector comes with a remote controller, power cord, an audio and video connector, and you will need two AAA batteries for the remote. Now in the back, you'll find one HDMI port, two USB ports, one headphone jack and the AV port, and one VGA port, just in case if you want to connect your PC. In the front, you get the knob for keystone correction and focus. On top, there are buttons to access the menu, just in case if you don't want to use the remote. On the bottom, you'll find the unadjustable screw for height adjustments and also an adapter for a tripod, which works much better. Now I connected my Fire Stick through the HDMI and I was able to power it up via one of the USB ports and everything worked great. You're also able to adjust the picture settings in or use the ones included. You also have access to audio and the projector settings. There is no Wi-Fi connectivity or Android operating system, so you will have to rely on what you connected with. The picture quality is okay. Like I said earlier, this is a 720p native, so don't expect super sharp resolution. Colors do pop and contrast is also good, but I do not recommend it using this during daytime or even with an ambient light, as you will lose picture quality. The projector works much better in a dark room. I also connected my Xbox One X to play some games and it supports 1080p at 60Hz. The input lag is very low, I was able to play without any issue, but the resolution made it hard for me to see details in dark areas or even at long distances, so I would just use this to play single player games. If there is a map, it's in there. It comes equipped with a 3 watt speaker, which is okay, but the audio gets distorted when it gets too loud. So I recommend to connect a soundbar or an external speaker for a better, better audio experience. The remote is very simple and it responds fast, so you also don't need to point directly to the projector, so that's a plus. The fan noise is also not that loud, so it won't disturb you when you are watching movies. Overall, this projector is great for bright and colorful content like cartoons or anime or even sports. So if you're looking for a big screen experience without spending hundreds of dollars and also a projector that is very small and portable, this is a great choice. Just keep in mind that you still need a power connection to power it up. So that's it for this video, guys. I'm Jolster. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.